Tom, how about over at the Department of Navy? There's a lot of activity going on over there. I know you've got a lot of moving parts. Tell us about the uh, uh, state of the state at the Department of Navy. Sure thing. So it's not very dissimilar to what uh, Mike is actually experiencing over at DHS. And, uh, you know, we've been working on this now for about two years continuously. We're in the process of actually writing our annual report to Congress. So that's a good way for us to kind of step back and look at what we said we were going to do and actually inventory what we did uh, and then set ourselves up for the next calendar year. So over the last year or so, we really uh, pushed hard on a data catalog. Um, We got the basic uh, infrastructure in place for not only doing that inventory of data that Mike mentioned as well, uh, but also setting ourselves up for inventorying the digital services that we're going to go after as part of our data portfolio. And so what I mean by that is we're really trying to move as a department of the Navy to shared enterprise services as much as we can. So where there is analysis happening, how do we empower our workforce, our sailors, our Marines, uh, and our civilians with tools to do their job? And, you know, we had The former undersecretary set the bar saying the tools that we're providing to our workforce have to be as easy to use as what they have today. And so that kind of sets the bar at the PowerPoint or Excel level (laughs) Um, in terms of ease of use, which is good, right? Uh, The challenge is, is how do you extract as much value out of the data as you can by giving some very basic tools and then empowering that you maybe 5% or 1% of the workforce with the power tools that they need to do their job. And so We've been working hard on use cases. We have a number of really compelling use cases uh, supporting fleet forces in terms of readiness and and ship preparedness and aircraft uh, maintenance type data. And we've also, you know, obviously, I think with a lot of the federal uh, CDOs have been digging in on the COVID data, uh, supply chain challenges and some PPE things there. That seems like the gift that keeps on giving, in my opinion. And then, you know, lastly, we really have been working very closely with the undersecretary, the former one and the current uh, acting uh, undersecretary on performance management. So how do we start using data in the Department of the Navy to drive performance, make decisions, measure their outcomes, and then react to what we're seeing in terms of the decisions that are being made. And that really is a seminal moment for the department because uh, thus far, uh, kind of broadly, we haven't really used data for true decision making purposes beyond what I would consider the more tactical kind of war fighting sort of aspects. So uh, that's exciting. And we're looking forward to where we're heading and, uh, and looking forward to the rest of the conversation.